Okay, what we got here is a heavily scratched Timex crystal. As you can see, scratches are really bad. And I, uh, <clears throat> I contacted a, uh, a watch repairer and he says that uh, yeah he can replace the crystal on it but after I told him that it was a Timex watch he said it's not really worth it replacing the crystal uh, face just go ahead and get a new watch because it's gonna range around uh, the crystals itself with these Timex are around 25 to 30 dollars so it's not really worth it replacing the crystal so might as well get a new watch but what I'm going to do is, I want to see if I can attempt to polish the crystal and see what I can do to fix it. Okay, so what I'll be using right now is a, uh, a Dremel. Get one of these and a, uh, like a sander disc on it. And I'll be sanding the, uh, the face of the watch since it's got a lot of deep cuts on it you need really have to shave it down so this may be at least a 200 grit so let's do it Okay, after uh, 30 minutes of uh, using that uh, Dremel, uh, this is what I came up with. Uh, all the deep scratches are gone, but it still needs to be uh, smoothed out. So I'm going to use a, uh, a 400 grit sandpaper. Okay, here's the uh, 400 grit sandpaper that I'll be using. Okay, so now I'm going to be using this 400 grit sandpaper. Add some water to it. I'm going to do a wet sanding on it with a circular motion. Okay, it seems that I forgot to turn on my recorder to record this video. So I'm going to have to overdub my voice on this video. As you can see, this is the uh, end result of uh, using the 400 grit sandpaper. I did my best to scrape down all the scratches on it. And I will be using this uh, polishing compound called Polywatch that I got from uh, Amazon.com. Uh, it's white and uh, it's almost like a toothpaste. So here's the uh, Dremel that I'm using to apply the uh, polishing compound and uh, you just put a little dab on the end of it and there it is the uh, poly watch just put a little dab on the end now you don't if you don't have a Dremel like what I have you're gonna have to use uh, just a cloth to apply this and you have to do this by hand which is kind of cumbersome but with this a Dremel it would help a bit as far as polishing it better or at least give you an easier uh, polishing way to uh, make your hands tire out on you okay uh, after polishing it I realized there's still some um, micro uh, scratches on it which is which the polisher could not remove so I have to result into a more higher uh, grit uh, sandpaper but what I got here is a, a thousand grit polishing stone that I just happen to have on hand and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, on the kitchen sink with the water flowing through it. As the water's flowing through it, I'll do a uh, circular sanding of the uh, crystal so that I could really sand down those uh, micro scratches on the uh, 
crystal itself. Okay, this is my uh, final final polishing. I'll be using this larger uh, buffing pad. Uh, no poly watch compound, just continuously buffing it. Okay, this is the final end result of the process that I did. Uh, that's a fairly good job getting rid of all the scratches, and I, I can still, at least I can read it a lot better now than in the past. Uh, in conclusion, uh, if you by any chance, or if you know somebody who's got a uh, industrial uh, buffer and they have a buffing compound, it would definitely be a big plus to polish and get rid of all these scratches on the uh, on the crystal of your watch. Uh, however, some of us don't have that luxury of having that kind of machine, but. Uh, this is the uh, end result of it. Uh, it's good, it's fair, but uh, what do you think about it? Anyway, uh, that's about it. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a good day.